Hey everyone, it's me, Donna. Uh, I'm making another video <coughs> on my tower to tower idea <coughs> that I've mentioned in a few other videos. Of course, over time, you know, this, this idea has uh, churned and churned and churned and churned in my head. Uh, I just keep thinking about it and uh, I keep getting, you know, newer and, and different ideas and all that on it. Um, but basically, this idea deals with kind of like the old antenna system, um, whereas whoever does this will have to go around throughout America or wherever and either build towers or use existing towers and maybe in some cases even rent towers from other companies to put their equipment on them. Okay, and they will buy up uh, one signal or uh, depending on the areas, uh, one signal that's not being used by anyone else. And if they have to do it that way, like if they can't just buy up one signal that's not being used all across America or whatever, then like I said, they could buy the uh, depending on the area, the different signals. But they can use the different towers to uh, transfer. Like if a signal comes in on one channel, then if they have to use uh, another channel, then certain towers can change that signal and transfer it to that other channel. Okay? So all that can be set up. That way, hopefully, they will only have to buy... Uh, one or a few licenses uh, for these different, um, you know, for these channels or whatever. Uh, instead of having to buy, you know, different ones and all that mess and, and, and dealing with all that, uh, just, you know, go ahead and take care of all that. Uh, keep it kind of like to a minimal the best that they can and deal with the FCC and all their rules and all that crap, you know. Uh, but anyway... All right, the idea kind of takes the the antenna thing, uh, and instead of people being able to get different signals coming in from different stations, this company can combine everything. Everybody that gets on board with this company, whether it be major channels or local channels or whatever, they can you know, do contracts and agree to being put onto this. And at each substation, this company can take all the, all of those different channels, all those different creations of programming, whatever, combine it down uh, through a computer system, combine and compress it all down to, on, to where it will go out on one signal. Okay, all this information, okay, so it, it will be compressed down, and then once it goes out, let's say, let me show you what I'm talking about, like, like I said, all this will be compressed, There'll be like, let's pretend like this is the substation, and these are, you know, some of the different channels and whatever, so all these will be compressed and sent out to the computers, and then... You know to all these different towers okay then it goes from the towers to your house okay when it gets down to the final uh, tower whatever okay and then <coughs> it hits <coughs> your devices okay <coughs> okay you can either buy a channel box or you can rent it from the company itself okay if you rent it from the company it will include the uh, price of the box and your monthly uh, payments or whatever. So it will be combined with your like monthly subscription or whatever until you get the box paid off. And then once you get the box paid off, the box is yours. Okay. So you don't have to worry about returning it or whatever, anything like that. Okay. All right. Also, you can buy the box from the store and then you can purchase because in, in my view, this service would be best 
dealt with on like kind of like a prepaid system or you can set it up for automatic payment or whatever but what you can do is you can even go hopefully to Walmart or to wherever and you can buy a card or you can contact the company directly they will have a website phone numbers all that stuff you can contact the company and you know get you a card that will go in your box okay and that will uh, determine what what size package you have okay you can have you know the uh, tier one tier two blah, blah blah all the way up okay and you know and the price will be determined on that the goal is to make the price as low as possible because I think a lot of people are getting jacked as far as price goes especially when it comes to satellite and all that especially if you live in rural areas um, yeah, I just, you know, just be nice to have something that's offered at a very good price. Uh, let's just say tier one is like 20 bucks for the cable. Just, you know, like for the cable, okay? Then the internet, you could, you will be able to buy an internet box. Also, it can be used as a phone box. So, it's like two different things in one box and you you know you can eat, choose whether you want internet or you want phone or you want both however you want to do it but you can get your cards okay and they can go in these slots okay and the cool thing is you can set it up to where um, okay like if you have the um, the internet the signal that comes in like I have mentioned previous in previous videos the signal that comes in say this signal like I said, it's going to get compressed down, but it's going to uh, involve the not only your your um, the television part of it, but also it will it will include the internet and phone. So all that will be in that signal too. So that signal will come in, and your cable or your your TV box, the internet part or whatever. If uh, you don't have internet or you do have internet or whatever that part of the signal won't have any kind of interaction with your TV box it will only work with like your uh, internet or your phone or whatever okay so each box will know what to do with the signal that's coming in basically is what I'm trying to say okay so <clears throat> you with your phone box uh, or your internet shall I say um, you can choose whatever type of, of internet, whether you want unlimited or you can have like so many gigabytes, whatever, however you want to do it. it. Like I said, it will be prepaid and you can buy the little card at Walmart or any of the other retailers out there or from the company. Um, and, you know, you can choose. It, but hopefully even the unlimited, let's just say for the unlimited, 10 bucks, 10 bucks a month. You get unlimited internet. And if you just want, uh, you know, 15 gigabytes or whatever, maybe that's five bucks. So, you know, just however, you know, you want to do it or the company feels is a good price. That's how that will be done. Okay. As for the phone, you can have uh, a home phone and maybe it can be set at like 10 bucks or whatever but also hopefully this will be set up to where you can have cell phones that are running off of this device uh, you can either uh, set it up to where your cell phone shares your home phone or it can be a separate number like if you just want different numbers like if you have a household full of, of people and each person wants a cell phone um, you know, and it will work with any cell phone as long as you're able to change, have the uh, phone number changed over or whatever. And each phone will be like 10 bucks, it's 10 bucks a month. OK, so, you, you know, you pay whatever price for your cell phone, whether it's an iPhone or whatever, wherever you get your cell phones from. And maybe even this company can sell cell phones as well, you know, um, like the prepaid kind from maybe from the cheap kind that's 20 something bucks on up to the expensive kind however this company wants to do it okay uh, but like I said even your your cell phones that come from other providers hopefully this company will allow you to transfer 
over to their prepaid system and like I said you know each each phone and and it, the you know the packages can start it whatever to unlimited like maybe you can if you only want so much of texting or so much of uh, <coughs> excuse me so much of uh, um, calling time or whatever you know there might can be like a five dollar fee like if you, if you want to set limits like the the cheap limits maybe it's only five bucks but like if you want unlimited then it would be like ten bucks something like that you know like I said however the company wants to do it okay so that's how hopefully that will be set up okay and, and basically maybe you can have up to I don't know ten people through one box that, that will be able to use this okay and then your like it's your internet it will be kind you know it'd be set up like a Wi-Fi type deal and you can hook up your different devices up to it and all that type of thing that way you don't have to go out and buy all these different uh, boxes and all that stuff you know all right um, as for the TV like I said, you can either purchase this box at Walmart or purchase it from the company. And once the box is paid for, then if you just want to watch free TV, then so, so many channels will be offered free. Because the box itself is probably going to cost you like 60 bucks or so. Okay? 60 you know, sixty to seventy dollars, let's just say, okay. So, you know, you, you've forked out that money for that box, okay? So you can have the free TV, but the only thing is, you know, of course it will be less channels, but the good thing is, you know, hopefully it will still include uh, you know, a majority of your local channels, just like antenna TV does in some areas that can pick up the local channels. Okay, so you will have that service, but on uh, some of the other channels that it will offer, you will have to put up with more ads and even those holographic ads that you see on, on uh, YouTube and different uh, internet uh, platforms where they show videos and everything. If you'll notice those, um, they're, they're, you can almost see through them, some of the ads and stuff, but they're on the video and you can X out or whatever, you know. But these will show up on some of those channels, okay? That way, that will give advertiser, advertisers more ways to uh, promote themselves and, um, you know, Basically, kind of, it's kind of in a way of paying for a TV without actually having to pay. Like when you go out and buy these products because you, you've most likely been exposed to it from this. Whereas normally you probably, you may not would have even, you know, seen these ads or commercials. But because you, you know, you've got the free TV and you're seeing all these different ads, then you might be more likely to go out and purchase said product. Okay. All right. So that's how that system will work. So you can still, if you buy the box, you can still have free TV. It just won't be as good as the tier one, tier two, blah, blah, blah. You know, so that that's how that will work, okay? And I just really think this would be an awesome thing. It would solve the whole, like, like me, for instance, living where I live, you, I can only, like, if I just use antenna TV, I can only pick up a few channels because the signals have been weakened. You know, we all went through that uh, transition from antenna TV to where most people had to end up buying cable or satellite because they weakened the signal and they claimed it was to free up stuff for 911, which that ended up being a bunch of crud anyway because... I, you know, I just think that was just a farce to get people onto the uh, having to pay for TV is basically how that ended up. So it, it tried to do away with free TV, free antenna TV, shall I say. OK. Um, also, this whole satellite thing. Well, you know, they supposedly they they've spent millions of dollars sending more satellites into outer space. But see, that costs a whole lot of money. Uh, so if. If. In the future, if you buy this, you're going to be paying a lot more money uh, as far as satellite and all that stuff, okay? 
So to me, this system would be so much cheaper, so much better. It will reach more people. It will give people out in the country, you know, broadband or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, the Wi-Fi. Let's just say the Wi-Fi that they really need, you know, in those areas. I mean, because now you're paying through the nose through satellite companies. There's so many people that have complained because, you know, their only choice is satellite. And they're just really, uh, it's it's really expensive. And a lot of people cannot afford it. Even 60 bucks. I mean, that that's pretty expensive for internet. Really? I mean, I just, I don't agree with that. I think that it should be a lot cheaper than that. And I think everybody should have access to, to internet that's affordable no matter where you live, whether you live in a rural area or a, a city or whatever. So, but yeah, I, and my hope is that, you know, a really good company with a lot of backing, a lot of, you know, because they're going to need a pretty good bit of money to get it going, to get it started. Because, uh, you know, you're going to have to deal with contracts, getting all these other companies uh, or these uh, stations and channels and all that on board with this whole process. Um, but the cool thing is, is this company could eat in, in some circumstances, uh, some subsidiaries of this company that does this, they can have their own uh, movie network, movie channels. Um, and like I even mentioned before, they can even work out deals with like YouTube and they can take some of these YouTube stars, some of these people that, you know, really know their stuff that have made videos on YouTube. They can set them up and put them on, uh, like they can set up a YouTube channels, like YouTube 1, YouTube 2, blah, blah, blah. And these YouTube stars can have their own uh, show on these channels. So that could be like a, a step up, the next level, uh, you know, for, for these people on YouTube. And that would mean more money. I mean, because it's like, you know, syndication. You know what I mean? So these people could make a lot of money doing this. You know, they would have that steady paycheck you know, for for like the cooking, the the crafts, the you know the uh, the uh, informational, uh, I guess would you say informative, uh, you know the different people that teach things and all that. You know, they could all be on these channels and yeah, help to create programming for TV. You know, instead, of, you know, instead of just being YouTube, they can do it for TV and people can watch them. And so, yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, that, that's how that could go. Uh, so, you know, and I know it's probably going to be a hard go because, um, you know, the different satellite and cable companies are probably going to give this company a hard time unless... This company deals with these <coughs> these other companies and either works out deals or maybe they can be from these other companies themselves. And this can be like a branch out from that. Uh, I don't really know how that would work out because I know how much um, cable and satellite companies don't want to lose money. They don't want to lose their customers. But... If you think about it, a lot of them are losing their customers anyway. A lot of people are pulling the plug on TV because it is so expensive and all that anyway. So why not have this as at least something to where they can can make a little money off people um, as well as, you know, offer them that uh, Internet and everything that they're not getting in the rural areas and all that. Uh, to where even, let's just say, even if you don't have the, the this company's TV service, if you've got their internet uh, box and using their internet service, they're still making money off of you, but you're getting your internet at a really good deal. You know, so that way if you do have your little uh, Android device or your uh, Roku or whatever you're using instead of TV, you know, as long as you're using their internet, they're still making money. So there you go. It, it's still a win-win is how I see it, you know. Um, but, you know, I just really think that this could be a successful thing. And, and the cool thing is this, this company could bring back, okay, for instance, like right now, 
I don't know who, what the top 10 or top 40 records are. Like, I mean, I listen to the radio like a lot of people and I go on the internet and I watch some of the new videos that come out by different artists and everything. But, you know, back in the 80s and 90s, they had TV shows like American Top 40 and uh, American Bandstand and uh, just all these different um, programs that let you know what the top recording artists were like you know what record went number one and all that bunch of stuff well now i have no clue like even though like i said i listen to radio and whatever i don't know who's number one i don't know who's number two i don't know who's number 40 i have no clue but see i kind of used to keep up with that you know especially in my younger days back when i was a teenager or whatever um you know, even as an adult, when, when they still had this programming going on. You know, you could kind of keep up with, okay, who's the top artist or whatever. And, and, and you know, the, the latest hit song or something. But that doesn't happen now. I think it would be cool if this company could create similar programming to what we had in the past to where... It would play the latest videos and, and keep up with uh, Billboard, uh, you know, the top 40 or top 100 or whatever. And people could be able to watch that channel and see a show and, and bring on somebody sort of like Casey Kasem because I loved Casey Kasem's voice growing up. I always thought he had a very unique voice. It would just be so wonderful if they could find someone, not that he could be replaced, okay, but someone with maybe a similar voice or a similar demeanor, you know, um, and not somebody like Ryan Seacrest. Oh, my gosh. No, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not knocking him, but I just don't really care <coughs> to see him do a show. I want someone who's just more kind of, I don't know, down to earth in a way, but yet just have this unique way of talking and, and doing their show. Uh, I just think that would be wonderful, okay? Uh, I would love to see that. Um, and let's see, there was something else. Uh, I can't think of it right now, but it, oh yeah, Solid Gold. You know, I'm sure a lot of people that grew up in the 80s uh, remember Solid Gold, the Solid Gold dancers. It would be neat to kind of bring back that in a way even like if even if they couldn't bring back the actual solid gold show bring back something similar to where dancers dance to the music not like in a contest type way uh, i'm talking about professional uh already um pre you know uh rehearsed or whatever and it's not you know hopefully there won't be mistakes or whatever you know whereas in a contest you know you always see people making all kinds of mistakes and you know, and they're they're competing against each other. You know, uh, whereas this, there is no competition. It's just a show, and these people dance to the music and and all that type of thing. I just, I loved it. I love watching, you know, Solid Gold. You know, and I just think it'd be neat to bring that back. Okay. Also, it would be neat if they brought back, which I know, uh, entertainment. Um, Tonight and maybe this week might still be showing, which I, I can't pick it up uh, on any of the stations that I know of uh, through my cable company or whatever that I uh, that, that's in this area. Um, but it may still be run. I know they're running on the Internet and whatever. So I'm, I'm assuming they, they still, you know, have a show or whatever. But it would be neat to bring a similar show or that show back to the way that it used to be in the 80s and 90s. The way that the the, the host acted, the way that uh, the sh uh, the programming content was presented to the public. I just, I thought it, I, it was very tactful and more decent and I just really appreciated, you know, the format of, the, of that show back in the day. So it'd be neat if they brought stuff like that back. Instead of, you know, shows now like TMZ uh, picking up on the negative and, um, you know, just constantly talking about, you know, the bad things that artists are doing or whatever. Why not have a show that brings out the positive? 
you know, and, and does, <coughs> excuse me, positive interviews and all that. <coughs> I mean, we need that. I, I just feel like, <clears throat> you know, we need more positivity in these shows. So it would be neat for them to bring that back. Because I'm not really seeing that in, in any of the channels I watch. Uh, and let's face it, MTV, it's all uh, reality TV crap now. And which I know they've got, if, if you can afford the next package or two up, you know, you can get the, the VH1 Classic or whatever. But the average person doesn't get that, you know. So it would be neat to bring back... You know, those channels and offer it through this box, you know, like I said, maybe through the, the tier one or tier two, which is, in my opinion, pretty cheap anyway. So, you know, have that offer to where it actually shows videos and discussions about, you know, the musicians and their work and all that type of thing. I just think that would be wonderful uh, to do that and make it about music instead of reality TV because I'm kind of sick of reality TV myself. Okay, so that's pretty much, I think that's all I want to say about this as of right now. Um, but I just, I really feel like it would, uh, it would fill a gap, uh, give everybody access to internet and to TV, even though it won't, uh, like I said, if you buy the box, you can do the free stuff, but like I said, it, it will kind of, what you say, come at a at a, um, a price, just like anything else. Um, you just have to put up with more ads and, and less channels and everything. But as long as you can get your local channels, I'm sure a lot of, you know, some people will be happy with that, you know. Um, so, yeah, that that's pretty much it for now. So, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!